Eng and Rampa. Eng and Rampa. Eng and Rampa. Gungaga. Uh, 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 all right. Alright. It's Dangarampa. Damn, they got Buddy in the fucking. Blast off. Babashi, ba babashi. Why he did that? For what purpose? Who was that? I don't know. Wong. Taco Bell. <laughs> Hope's Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government-funded school of privilege, white privilege. Don't miss, man. He's good. In the heat of battle, he don't miss. No. In the heat of controversy, he don't miss. No. And standing there at the gates of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students. Ultimate Mike, Ultimate Mike, Ultimate Michael, Manakuma, Dangarampa. Before Good morning. we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. My name's Makoto Naegi. Who? Like, if you asked me what my favorite song was, or my favorite movie or TV show, they'd all just be whatever's popular at the particular moment. Even among the average, I'm completely average. So, I can't say I'm your everyday hero type. But little do you know, I'm the fucking protagonist in this game, clearly, because I'm the first motherfucker you met in the game. Besides Dangarampa. He's out of line, but he's right. The Alta Alta Mike Lucky Student. I fuck with that. It spelled it out plain as day. I got invited by pure luck. Ultimate pussy eater? Oh my god. If you eat coochie. Cheers. Why are you the way that you are? Took my first step in toward the main hall. Dangarampa! Dangarampa! At least that's what I was hoping for. And then the day ended with, oh yeah, I have a feeling. And then Dangarampa. And the next moment, everything went black. That was how it all began. And how life as I knew it came to an end. At that point, I should have realized. The reason I was brought to Hope's Peak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Welcome to Despair. Despair High School. Prologue. Dangarampa! What was I doing asleep here just now? This isn't a classroom I've ever been in before. What the heck is going on? There's a TV. The school is funded by the na national government, so I guess it's not weird to have a TV in here. Something feels off. I wonder what it is. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, your entire school in your world. Yeah, what the fuck? Who is this? Who is doing this to me? Dangarampa! What the hell? Let me get the fuck out of here. Leave the area. Let me get the fuck out of here. Dangarampa music playing. Dangarampa! Tartarus. Persona 3. Yeah, yeah, we're in Tartarus. Bear Hotel. I guess it's the place for people to stay overnight. But anyway, I need to get to the main hall. Probably need to go to the Dangarampa logo. I wonder where this red door leads. I'm starting to feel sick standing here. Yeah, probably not. Bro, this is literally Persona 2. Or 1. By the time I got to the by the time I got back to the main hall, everyone was already everyone else was already there. Oh hey! Another new kid? A whole bunch of Dangarampa errors. Huh? Standing before me were the ultimate students. I had been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone who'd gathered there, taking in their faces one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I could swear I could feel a kind of aura coming from each of them. 
So we got Ignis. We got Peter Griffin in the back. Doki Doki Literature Club. Dude with dreads in the back. And dude with a slice of pizza on his head. Um, how's it going? My name is Makoto Nagi. I'm sorry I'm late. Or sorry I'm late. A bunch of stuff happened. And then all of a sudden I was just asleep. Huh? Whoa, you too? Hmm. Things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser. Curiouser. Girl, speak English. Mm -hmm. So strange. I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. Uh, what are you talking about? I have no idea what's going on right now. Got it. Just a moment. There's something else we must address. Listen to me. Makoto, your tardiness is unacceptable. Surely you were aware the meeting was supposed to start at, start at 8 a.m. sharp. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with him? To be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report you, and you must accept your due punishment. Who the fuck is he? What? He the dick rider, boy. What the fuck who do you think you are, class president? What is your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. That's right. Whoa, who is this? Everyone just calm down and listen. Why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Huh? The hell? Now's no friggin' time for introduction. <laughs> Maybe, but it may be good to at least find out who we all are before digging into the bigger problems here. I mean, how are we supposed to talk to each other if we don't even know each other's names? Yeah. That's a good point. Okay, we'll talk to front and center. Kiyo, Kiyo Taka Ishimaru, ultimate moral compass, aka certified snitch. Say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of ultimate JROTC. <laughs> right, right. This guy is kind of a dickhead. Toko Fuka, Fukawa. Girl, chill out. Toko Fukawa. Fuka. This game want to be Persona 3 so bad. They got Fuka, they got Persona 3, they got Tartarus. Stop staring at me like I'm some filthy creature. Filthy creature? Nah, I just thought. I know what you just thought. You just thought you never seen such an ugly woman. And you thought it was so funny. I didn't even think that. What are you talking about? Sakaya Mazion my my zono? Sayaka my zono. Of course. She writes fan fiction. I don't know what he expected, honestly. Sakaya my zono. The way she moves is positively mesmerizing. And that pleasant scent I can't quite place. He said. Ooh. Mm. Remember from uh, Finding Nemo when Bruce smelled the blood in the water? Ooh. Hey! She's a pop singer. Uh, she's in a, a pop group famous all across the country. In fact, she's the lead singer. At the uh, As the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high demand to appear on TV and in magazines everywhere. Makoto did... Just hold on. Shut the hell up. Who didn't fucking... Flush the toilet or some weird shit. Uh, Joe Dirt. Yo, this Yo. Is Leon Kuwada. What's up? Leon Kuwada, what's up? All right, Peter Griffin. Fumi Yamada. And my nickname, the Alpha and the Omega. I don't mind. What the fuck is that your nickname? That boy thinking you're Alpha male. Oh, yes, sir. Aoi Eshaina? Eshaina? Best girl already. I'm Damn. Aoi Asahina, but my Aoi? friends just call me Hina. Hina. Sup? Hina. Sup? Sup, dude? Hina? Best girl. Best girl. I already figured it out. Best girl. Best girl. Chirio. Why did I know that was going to be her name? Chirio Fujisaki. Hey. Okay, she got the little jacket on. Okay, she got drip. Kyoko Kirigiri. Uh, can I ask you your name? My name is Kyoko Kirigiri. Kyoko Kirigiri. Ultimate question mark, question mark, question mark. She's pretty tight lipped, huh? Oh, but you know, her name didn't show up anywhere at Hope Geek Academy thread. 
and I did see that there were students like me, ones who didn't have any real identity or presence. Could this girl be one of them? Junko Inoshima. Hi, I'm Junko Inoshima. Charmed, I'm sure. Oh, I fuck with her. Yeah, that brother's starving. Yes, sir, brother. <laughs> oh boy, Mondo Awa Awada. His name's Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet you. Nice to fucking meet you. I like that. I like that about you. I like that about you. Nice to fucking meet you, motherfucker. <laughs> Who the fuck is Dangarampa? And bring him here. Where's Dangarampa, motherfucker? Oh, he's one of them. There's four more over there. Only one's left. Goddamn, big brolic ass. But anyway, um, Bayakuya Togami, motherfucking Ignis from Final Fantasy 15. The ultimate affluent prodigy. What is he good at speaking? Uh, nice to meet you. That's the most half assed introduction I ever heard. Yes, Shiro Akaru game. Yeah, I know I will. Yeah. Zora? They added Zora to Dangarampa? All right, Celeste, no last name. Yo. See, I told you, it's totally normal entrance ceremony stuff. The girl was right. But in a way, that was just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there, howdy, hello. Is everyone here? Good. Then let's get things rolling. Uh-oh, Tangarampa. But that's just weird that every one of us would get knocked out like that. Piece of shit. <laughs> Exactly. That's why we're all freaking out. That's not the only thing. You saw where all the windows and classes and hallways were, right? The motherfucker was black. Dangarumpa. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay. Well then. The voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful and completely unconcerned. I couldn't help to feel but a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone's laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at... Right now! Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. Yo! See, I told you, it's totally normal entrance ceremony stuff. The girl was right, but in a way, that was just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there, howdy, hello, is everyone here? Good, then let's get things rolling. Uh oh, Tangarampa. Tangarampa. Is that Zora? Zora theme song playing. Baba she, baba she, baba she. It was the strangest thing I'd ever seen. Right before my eyes, it was what I was seeing was utterly incomprehensible. I told you already, I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Manakuma, and I'm your headmaster. <laughs> it moved. Seriously, man, calm down. It's probably just a remote control toy or something. How dare you compare me to a child's plaything? You've cut me deep, deeper than the marina trench. <laughs> My remote control system is so complex, even the folks at NASA can't recreate or even comprehend it. But don't say stuff, <laughs> but don't make me say stuff that might destroy NASA's dreams. It, I couldn't just, I just couldn't bear that. Well. Bear that. Really? You are unfortunate. Hmm. Now then, moving on. We really must hurry and get started. Come on. Giving up already? No other stupid bear puns? Now then. Quiet down, quiet down. Ah, uh, okay. So, huh. he has abandoned the gag. Good morning! Everyone stand at attention and bow. And good morning! You hear me? Good morning! <laughs> Mondo roared out, and then there was a sudden boom. It was the sound of the floorboards as he kicked off and launched himself into the air. He flew at Monokuma fast and straight as a bullet. He locked onto his target. 
Wow, you got him. Gotcha, you little piece of shit. I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds. What? The violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Let me out of here, I swear to Christ. This motherfucker about to blow up. Hey, damn it. What? No smart ass comeback this time. That ugly ass face. This motherfucker about to blow the fuck up. Piece of shit! Stop that goddamn beeping and say something. Watch out! Get rid of it. Huh? This is a monocoma factory. Nah, it's a bomb factory. They're bombs. <laughs> Hurry up and throw it! I don't know if their ferocity stunned him into silence or what, but without a word, he did what he was told. He threw Monokuma. And as soon as he did... Yeah, that mother... <laughs> They're bombs. This is a Monokuma factory. No, it's a bomb factory. They're bombs. The hell? What the? That sure as shit wasn't a joke. It blew the hell up. He about to... Someone about to kill him. We were abducted out of nowhere and stuffed into this place meant to look like a school. And now we're supposed to start killing each other? This is... <laughs> This is, this is just, what is, what is this? They all stared at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I could almost taste hostility. And that's when it hit me. I realized the true terror hidden behind, or hidden within the rules Monokuma had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words had planted vicious thoughts deep within each of us. Each of us became suspicious of someone else. And we were forced to wonder, somebody going to betray us? Like, there's so much going on right now. There's gotta be a place to listen to cool stuff on Twitch. Maybe if we go to Mike at night and hit subscribe, there'll be cool videos and awesome guests. Or maybe the world is gonna end and all my friends are gonna die. <laughs>